Hello again everyone, so I'm back with another book haul finally. Um, it's about 20 books, uh, so it's quite a big haul. Um, I lifted my book buying ban when Hereafter by Tara Hudson was released um, over here because it's a book I really wanted and there was no way I was not going to buy it. So I'll start, the first five books I'm going to show are um, books that I have to read for college next year and I've bought my own copies um, so that I can read them over the summer, write my own notes, highlight things, which obviously you can't do with studentship books that they give you um, because you can't take notes into the exam. But I really want to make really thorough, detailed notes because um, uh, obviously they're classic books. We didn't do classic books this year, they were more contemporary books. So I need more detailed notes. Um, so yeah, the first book I got was Hamlet by William Shakespeare. Um, this is a hardback copy, it's quite thin though, um, and this was like 49p in the works, it's discount bookstore, and I couldn't believe how cheap it was. Um, I had to get a copy anyway, but I liked this one because it had illustrations in it, and like you have Ophelia down there, and then you have coloured illustrations as well, which I thought was a nice touch that you um, obviously don't always get, but, so I really liked that. And I thought for a book that I really want to highlight and make notes on, it's got plenty of um, page space for note writing, which is a plus. The next book that I got is Hard Times by Charles Dickens. Um, I have read Dickens before. I haven't read this before, but I have read Dickens before. Um, and this is in a period um, that I really like, and it's all about the unions at the time forming in strike action. Uh, which is something that interests me. Um, my coursework this year I did a political speech and I also did like a monologue and they were based in this time and my teacher actually thought that my political speech was based on Mr Slackbridge from Hard Times and it wasn't, it was um, from North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell so she thinks this is a book that couldn't have been better chosen for me if that's what I like so I have that. I then have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I'm pretty sure that everyone has to read this at some point at school. Um, I did in like year eight or nine. Um, I haven't read it from start to finish since. Um, like you, you're given extracts a lot of the time in like exams or in class to work on. So I have that. I then have yet another copy of Jane Eyre. If you've watched any of my videos before, then I am a huge Jane Eyre fan. It's my favourite classic book, and I wanted another copy because I didn't want to scribble in one of my copies because they're like my favourite books so I wasn't going to scribble on them so I got an another copy but I really like the cover of this one. She looks like a Jane Eyre. Um, the only problem with these books is that the font is minuscule but oh well I will cope. And then the last book that I got for college is not on the reading list but we have to pick our own novel to analyse. It doesn't have to be a classic book, it can be a contemporary, so I might not even use this book but it is one of my favourite classic books and I thought it would be something different to do. I might pick a contemporary yet, I really don't know. Um, but Jules Burns Around the World in 80 Days. I had this um, in like an e-copy and I loved it so much. I didn't expect to love it so much but I really do love this book. It's one of my favourite classic books. So I'm really glad to have a physical copy now. So that's the college books done and I'll move on to the other books. Um, I went into the works and it was three books for five pounds which is really really good and I can normally always find books that I want if there is an offer on. Always. And the first book that I got is Thirst Volume 2 by Christopher Pike. I've wanted to read some of Christopher Pike's books for quite a while now but there's always books that I've always wanted more. Like I have a great big list. I keep a notebook with books in that I then highlight when I get them and I keep a list of all the release dates in hardback and paperback. So if you ever want to know when a book's coming out, I normally know. Um, so there's always been books I've always wanted to read more. But this was two ninety nine on its own or it was in three for five pounds and as I get three pounds you're almost at the five pounds. Um I don't have volume one and like you must be thinking <laughs> Why? But because I wanted to read Crystal Pike, I like thought 
it's ridiculous leaving it there when it's two ninety nine and on like it's supposed it's supposed to be oh, I can't speak again um, retails for about twelve pounds because it's three books in one it includes Phantom Evil First and Creatures of Forever the and the first book's the same it's got three books in it so I thought when I finally get round to getting volume one I then have volume two ready to go my logic couldn't have left it on the shelf when I know that I want volume one. Um, and I'm also reading Rachel Kane's Morganville Vampires at the moment. I, I'm up to book three and the reviews up um, both on YouTube and on my blog, um, which I'm really liking at the moment. I have one to ten on my bookshelf. But then I went in there and they had her other series, her Weather Warden series. And I got book one, Ill Wind, and I love these um, like icicle things in her hair. You know, they look really good. Then I got book two, Heat Stroke. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them as much as The Morgan of Vampires, so I only got books one and two. Um, and I can always go back if I really like them, because there's quite a few in the series. Um, I then went to another discount bookstore in town, and the first book I got was the final Wicked Lovely book, Darkest Mercy by Melissa Marr. Um, I only have Ink Exchange and Fragile Eternity, which I think is like two and three. I'm missing one Wicked Lovely and four Radiant Shadows, but for two pounds I thought I could always pick up the other two. Um, next book I got was Uglies by Scott Westerfield. Um, this was actually recommended to me quite a while ago by a friend at college because we were just talking about books that we like to read and she said oh I really love the uglies and I didn't really pay any attention to it I didn't look them up or anything like that because um, I didn't think it sounded like something I like but then having sort of developed a taste for dystopia after reading um, Divergent I really wanted to see what else was out there and watching people's reviews they always tend to or a lot of people tend to compare a dystopia book with the ugly and I thought for two pounds like it was a complete accident that I came across it so I thought I'd check it out. Okay next huge pile of books you can't see it but it's piling up. Um I got Passion by Lauren Kate. Um I didn't like Fallen but I had Torment on my shelf and if I didn't get Passion it would have bugged me that there was one out in a series that I don't have. It sounds really stupid but it's true, I needed to like have them all. So I got Passion and this is a hardback cover. Everywhere else I've seen it is paperback. Um, but I got this at Asda which is basically a Walmart and this hardback cover is actually exclusive to us. I, I was reading um, the inside bit and this cover is the exclusive to us, as is the Torment one, which I didn't know until I was flipping through. Um, I might really like Torment and Passion, I don't know, but when I have like nothing else to read and I'm desperate I will probably pick up Torment, which is a shame because I know so many people like that series, but it, for some reason it just didn't grab me for the first book. Okay, now this is the next six books are uh, Asda again. And I went in and they had three books for ten pounds, um, and like all of their paperbacks, and that included Divergent. I mean, I already had a copy, but I was so shocked that book is worth nine ninety nine, and it was three pound ninety six on its own, or three for ten pounds. I couldn't believe that. I was in shock. I was like, why did I have to have bought bought it before? I still had a good offer on it when I bought it, but that's not the point. <laughs> um waffling now but that is such a good deal if you're in the UK and you want Divergent go to Asda okay <laughs> now that I've got that out there um, the first book is Here Lies Bridget by Paige Harrison um, I went into Waterstones again that's like a Barnes and Noble Borders type place and I saw that a couple of weeks ago and it wasn't the sort of thing that I would pick up to pay full price for but I thought it sounded good and I love how the blurb is on the mortuary tag it's um, compared to Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, um, I haven't read that, but it's significantly smaller than Before I Fall. But it sounded, you know, decent enough book, you know, mean girl dies, has second chance, change her life sort of thing. I really like that. 
And the second book I got was Rachel Vincent's My Soul to Save in her Soul Screamers books. Um, I don't have book one, but I love this. I don't know how well that will show up on the camera, but it's like black and green and then there's her beautiful green eyes. And it just really drew me in. Um, so yeah, I will probably get book one, but I wanted to see what they were about. And then the third book we got was Between Shades of Grey by Rita Sepetys. Um, I This has caused quite a storm in the YA community. Um, I myself recommended it to a friend who loves to read this sort of thing. Um, she likes the actual history behind it as well as actually reading fiction about it. Um, so I said, oh, you'd love this book that I've you know, heard of. And she went out and bought it. And I don't know if she's read it yet. I keep meaning to ask her. But um, she had the really nice cover. I have this other cover, but I really like the original cover. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, okay, and the next three books are all books that have caused a storm in the YA community, and I got these three for £10 in Asda. Okay, the first book is Julie Kagawa's The Iron King, and I love this blue and greenish cover with her on it. It's a really pretty cover and I've heard the book is awesome as well and I love, I haven't read any of it yet but I I wondered like what on earth that was so I was looking through and I really like this scrolling so that's pretty. And then I got book two, The Iron Daughter and I again I love this now that it's purple um, and this one's actually got glitter on it but I don't like that how they put the next twilight up there in the corner. I think that ruins it. Okay. And the final book in my three for ten pounds was Blood Red Road by Moira Young. Um, I don't like this cover. I prefer the US hardcover. I think this just makes it look tacky and horrible. It just completely unappealing for me in this cover. But I hear the book is really good and that's what matters. So I can overlook the cover if the book is awesome. Okay, the next book I got is Lauren Oliver's Delirium in Hardback. Um, I finally caved and my mum finally gave up trying to convince me to get the paperback that comes out in August because I really don't like what the paperback cover is going to be. Um, when I review this book I will include um, what the paperback cover is going to look like and you can decide which you prefer, I really don't like it. Um, I much prefer this. And I love how thick the writing is on the back. Um, I was disappointed they, like the US cover, you take the bus jacket off and the girl's face carries on, um, carries through even to the front. It doesn't on this book, but it's still better than what the paperback cover is going to be. So I've heard mixed things about this, but I really like the sound of it, so I'll make up my own mind. Okay, down to the last three books. Okay, Goddess of the Sea by PC Cast. Um, this is the last book I needed to complete the Goddess Summoning series, and ironically, it's book one. They released them all in really strange orders, um, but now this is the last one, and it's all about mermaids and mermen, and it's all reworking sort of classic myths and Greek mythology. And I really like these. Some are better than others, as are with all series, but. I'm looking forward to reading about mermaids and mermen. Okay, the next book is Caleb and Kate by Cindy Martinusen Kalema. I can never remember her middle name. <laughs> never. Um, this is a book I've wanted to read for a while. It came out last year and it's a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet. Um, I love Romeo and Juliet as do a lot of people. Um, I don't think it's got the, um, the deaths of the characters. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Well, neither does Nomeo and Juliet. <laughs> I'm showing my nerdiness now. Um, so I really want to read this. It's, it's that typical, you know, forbidden love. Um, their families, uh, you know, really don't like each other, but they fall in love with each other. And it's a really quite pretty cover, actually. It's really sweet. Um, and I thought that would be quite a nice summer read for me. 
Mind. And my last book is a book I mentioned, oh, that, this is going to fall over, that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and it's what lifted my book buying ban, and that's Hereafter by Tara Hudson. I love, 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 love the sound of this book. Um, here in the UK, we don't have the beautiful, shiny hardcover that you in the US do, which is disappointing, but I still love the cover. It's still a beautiful cover, and then the spine is beautiful too, and it's definitely my third book, and I will be reading this so soon. Um, I can't I can't decide what to read next, because I'm currently reading an anthology um, that I'll review when I I've literally started it today, and I'm on the introduction which isn't, that's <laughs> quite bad. I just, I don't know, I'm in a complete, mm, I don't know what to read. But that's what I'm reading at the moment, and I can't decide what to read next. It's, I'm sort of torn at the moment between Blood Red Road and Hereafter. I don't know, I might even go off and read something completely different, because I normally do. When I'm reading a book, I'm consciously thinking, oh, what should I read next? And then I make up my mind. And then I finish the book, and then I change my mind you do that? I don't know. Let me know. Um, so that's my book haul. Um, I'm so happy that I've been buying books again. And I've got some really great books that I can't wait to read. Um, what have you hauled recently? Let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. Happy reading.